first grade diary. And this is for some of our history. It's Old Testament days with different activities. We're going to use it for the Samaritans, and the Ziggurat, all kinds of things. Okay, let's see what's that. Oh my, let's see. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is the lab sheet annotations. The big, I think this is for all, all of the, the Mequon books. And this is notes to teachers. And this is your new math book, so you know. The Mequon math, orange. Oh, this one looks fun. What's this? Setting the table. And... This will be fun. Okay, Timothy, we also have books for you. Okay, guys, so I have been looking at the Miquan Math Lab stuff, and when I got it, people said there's kind of a learning curve to it because it's not like um, most other math programs. And usual self, I thought, eh, I'm sure it's fine. But yeah, I'm looking at it and I'm a little bit confused. So um, I think it's fairly normal to feel that way. So I debated on getting, um, I know that the lab sheet annotations is a requirement to um, understand what to do with the sheets because that's where all of the information is. There's no like answer key, but that's where it tells you what to do with each of the lab sheets because there's no directions on the pages and it's not clear what to do with them. And from what I can tell so far, that's on purpose because they kind of want the kids to play and explore and leave things slightly open-ended. So um, I got that and I debated on getting the um, the first grade diary, but I had someone who's used Miquan who highly recommended, like, this is a must get. And this goes through um, a year of uh, Laura Rassman in her classroom and what they did. And Laura Rassman is the one that wrote the Miquan program. So I think this is going to be really helpful, kind of helping me think outside of the box of ways to be doing math with, with Samuel and with the boys. And then um, I really debated on getting the notes to teachers book, but I'm really kind of glad that I did. It's really, really tiny. You can see it's really thin. Um, but I've already looked at, at some of the stuff in here. So I think it will probably, I was hoping we could jump into this today, <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen because I think I'm going to have to look at it a little bit more. But I look forward to um, kind of exploring these things and telling you about them as we go along. And uh, I will be doing a review. But um, if you've not heard of Miquan Math, I'm going to put a video below that explains things really well. But the idea of Miquan math is that um, children don't think in terms of operations and number sentences and things like that on a page for them. Math is very conceptual. They use it all around them. They count, they share, they, you know, if you watch your child, um, you'll see them using lots of math, but it's not something on a page. And so the idea with Miquan is that it works from that base where kids are playing and exploring and it uses Cuisinaire rods and I believe um, there's lots of other games and ideas and a lot of it is just through play. So it really builds a solid foundation for understanding math. Um, it only goes up through, it's a program that's only first through third grade so it doesn't like go forever but the idea is that it will really build that foundation and what a lot of people do is who want more drill and more um, like memorizing multiplication facts and things like that. I think you can do that with this as it gets higher, but I think some people prefer to do something on top of it. Right now, I don't feel the need to do that, but if I get to a point that I feel like I should be doing that, I will um, maybe use like Evan Moore's daily practice or something like that, or sometimes people will use it with Singapore. Um, but I felt like this was a neat program because I really like how it has the conceptual base. That's what I really wanted. I was looking at this and another math program that uses every day. It's, um, I'll put the link to that below too. The name is totally leaving me right now. But um, it uses games in everyday life situation to do math as well. 
and I'm still interested in that, but it was a very, you buy everything all at once that you'll need for the entire math, and so it's a pretty hefty upfront price tag. Now, all in all, it's really not that expensive when you expand it out and share it between kids, but I felt like Miquan was a good place to start, and maybe I will purchase the other program when we're done with Miquan and transition to that. Um, or something along those lines, but I'm really, 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 really excited about, I really wanted to, my whole goal with this is I didn't want to just give Samuel math worksheets. Like he does math so well. Like I'll ask him a math related question. The other day he was doing multiplication, just spouted it out, but it's not like just drilling in his head. It's like figuring out the way the numbers work together and he does so well at that. And so I wanted to find a program that encouraged that. And I feel like oftentimes math that we use in real life is separated from like math, the subject, because we, we have a hard time translating the problems that we're doing on a page to where we're using math in real life. So I wanted to kind of have a program that kind of tied all that together to give him a good foundational base. So that's why I used Miquan picked Miquan. This is probably more than you wanted to know, but I'm excited to learn how to use it and see how it all works together. And I will be sharing with you guys along the way. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.